It might seem crazy what I'm about to say Some chan cheese here, you can take a break I'm a hot air balloon that could go to space With the air, like I don't care, baby, by the way Cause I'm happy If you feel like room without a roof Because I'm happy If you feel like happiness is true Because I'm happy If you know what happiness is to you Because I'm happy If you feel like that's what you want to do
wow. That was, that was beautiful. Would you, would you like a cupcake? It's chocolate. I'm Tyler Grace, by the way. No. I'm sorry, what? I'll go. I'll wait. Cupcake, but now that you had it, I I don't have a reason to be here. But why did you give me a cupcake? Well, uh, everyone knows that when a woman's sad, she needs something to eat, specifically something sweet, like her. And do I look like a cupcake to you? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just a bad joke. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for the cupcake, Carol. And I love you. Thanks. Do you want to play a game, perhaps? Sounds like something a potential kidnapper would say. It's probably something a coward would say, Miss Dog. <laughs> Besides, there could have been something. Touche. But if I win, you will have to get me another cupcake. Okay, and if I win, you tell me what's wrong. Excuse me? I think not. Look, I know I'm just a stranger, but I promise I'll just listen. No pity, no advice? Nope. You gave me a cupcake because you heard my song. So you... So you're not a win then? Ho oh, ho, it's on. Then what happened? Did you tell him? <laughs> Fat chance, I won. <laughs> okay, so he's good. Uh, you hearing him there? I said, I won. Yeah, sure, get up. He let you. But he couldn't have. Okay. Let's recap, shall we? He gave you a cupcake, walked away, had you feeling guilty, sat back down, and then pretended to lose so he gained your trust. He's a total player. Okay, you know what? I'm sorry. It's really good. Man, I really thought I made a friend. You know what? He did get you out of your moods, right? Mm -hmm. I'm glad he was there. Scream pain and pop on? Nah, I think I'll take a nap. But you know, I get sad too. Why? Well, since you finally asked. A stranger named Terrell did a better job at making my best friend happier <clears throat> than I did in the past month. So, I have every right to be sad. You are so dramatic. What you're having the caramel and the pizza flavor mixed popcorn since we're both sad. Fine. Deal. <sighs> oh, by the way, did you get his number? No, I didn't. Oh, that's too bad. Look, Ayla, you don't have to tell me. I just thought that since I was a stranger, it would have been easy for you. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, I have, I have an idea. We could meet up again here, same time, any day. Any day? Don't you have another walk today, jobless creature? Why don't you just give me your number? <laughs> that would be too easy. Uh, why are you trying to be all mysterious? I prefer philosophical. So what? You're some poet that appreciates the world? Not really, but I am pretty grateful. So uh, that. You're so corny. Anyways, that's my cue. So I, I really hope to see you again, Isla.
Where do you think you're going? Nowhere important. Let me guess. Groceries? <laughs> of course. Save our planet and save our hunger. The third time this week? Do you think I'm stupid? Maybe a little. That's it. Ayla, where do you run off to? <laughs> You're not my mother. Ayla, oh, oh. better tell me the truth. <laughs> never, you wretched creature of the Shadow Kingdom. Okay, that's it. You will never escape me. No! no. Ah. Tell me now! No! Tell me now or no ice cream? Hmm, my weakness. Do you know what? You better tell me now. <sighs> Fine. I've been seeing Terrell. Wait, the, the park player? He's not. Are you seeing him? Ew, gross, no. The, the why do you see him? Because we play games and talk about stupid stuff and he gives me cupcakes. See, so let me get this right. You hang out with a stranger because he gives you cupcakes. He's not a stranger. Plus, they want my cupcakes. Super delicious. Yes, Paige. In the beginning, I was a bit sketchy about it as well, but he's always so sweet and kind, and the more time I spend with him, the more I find myself smiling and laughing at his stupid jokes. So, yeah. Okay. Fine. When do I get to meet him? Thanks, Mom. <laughs> the best. Yeah. Hmm. So... I think I'll arrange something for all five of us to hang out. All five? <laughs> Who all five? His friends Edna and Douglas. Edna's super sweet, but I think you like Douglas a lot more. He seems like your type. <laughs> into the beans you can and then somehow manages to drench not just herself but also her boss. Yeah and if you look closely you can actually see a paint mark on her forehead. This is so annoying. <laughs> yeah that is how she learned to never buy canned food from strangers again. Though that doesn't extend to I knew that she had some super embarrassing stories but this I mean, this is honestly making my day. Come on, let's let's hear, keep hearing more. Guys! Guys, can we clean the topic, please? Hi, can I get you anything else? Dude, shall we get the bill? Um, and leave without having dessert. No, thank you. Oh yeah, the, the chocolate lava cake here is to die for. I mean, I don't really have much of a sweet tooth, to be honest. Mm. Yeah, and I like to keep the taste of the steak, to be honest. I'm full. You said it, brother. Okay, so then shall we split the bill five ways? Yeah. Okay. Uh, can I have the bill, please? Yeah, sure, no problem. I'll okay. be right back with it. Okay. I I have to use the washroom, so I'll I'll be back. Yeah. I got you, dude. It's okay. I got you. Um, such a nice cake. <laughs> I know, right? Um, this will be. Oh. Um, how much? So it's like seventy-three point five. So that's like forty point seven each. Oh. Whoa, what? That's it though? But we ate at such a fancy restaurant. Yeah, but tomatoes is awesome. Especially the food. Yeah, it was, it was really good. Okay, okay so here's mine. I'll see you outside, guys. Okay, okay. All right. Bye bye. Hey. Hey, sir. What's up? Nothing, just standing outside, breathing in the last of the winter. No, I mean, you've been quite this whole dinner, right? Was it food? No, oh, the food was actually really good. Wasn't it? Yeah, best take ever. Was it Paige? Was she too weird? I can't begin to tell you how weird that girl is. <laughs> then what's wrong? Nothing, just. just overthink. Whoa, you overthink? Yeah, it's weird, right? I mean, philosophers are think, let alone overthink. Man, Terrell, why are you beating around the bush? You've always been so candid with me, so what's different this time? Well, uh... Hey, you guys good? <laughs> yeah, I'm just waiting for you guys. Awesome. Now that we're out here, does this night continue somewhere? Oh, I wish. But, you know, the husband's taking care of the kids, so that means I have to go home right now. Oh, and even my brother wants some comics that you're not promised. 
can I join you? I mean, I have a meeting to get a fifth edition of the new gauntlet, so. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's the same one my brother wants. Yeah, that's good. Okay, great. Um, Ayla, see you at home. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. 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 See ya. Harold? I, I don't want to talk. Okay. Then we won't. Okay. You can tell me too. You can tell me too. I hope you know that even though I am always the one talking, I can listen too. I would definitely love to know what goes on my head of yours. Well, there are things I don't want to talk to you a lot because I don't want to lie to you. I never want to lie to you, and contrary to popular opinion, the truth doesn't always set you free. But telling the truth is a beautiful act, even if the truth itself is sometimes is ugly. Did you just, did you just call Glenn Duggan? Yeah, I was kind of hoping you would just. <laughs> you know, you're, uh, you're, you're dope. Do you have feelings for me? No. I have strong feelings for you. Really? I do too. But I can't. Why not? Lots of reasons. Why? Because there's this responsibility of being able to satisfy you, and especially that my feelings aren't that strong for you. Is that why I wanted my hands so tight? I'm sorry, I, I, I just can't. <sighs> Did someone break your heart? I mean, everyone's had their heart broken at least once by now. That's my life. Look, I'm not asking for anything. I never even asked for your friendship and you gave me that. You became one of my closest friends in four months flat, so honestly, I'm fine right here with every moment that we shared. Corny much? Shut up. <laughs> Although, later you'd probably want more for me and have expectations that just can't begin to fulfill. And you think that because? Mm, I, I haven't been completely honest with you either. I, I live on the street. Whoa, you live around here? Where? Here, right here. Oh. This. This is me. I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. It's, it's fine. Um, I'm quite used to it by now. Uh, this is the first person I'm telling this to. I, I've told Edna and Douglas, but they don't know the whole story either, so... Do you mind if I ask what happened? I mean, yeah. Uh, I used to be a partner in this, this big-time law firm. And one day I found out that our partner and the company itself were backing the wrong guy, who paid well. But that was completely against what I stood for. And so I, I, I spoke to them and I, I confronted my traders and they outed me as a trader to my very company, you know, the, the very company that I had built from the ground up. Well, after I got fired, they completely ruined my reputation and no one wanted to hire me after. So, yeah, all, all the money and all the stuff that I had was seized up at the bank. And yeah, I'm homeless. Thank you for sharing the secret with me, Carol, but it's not your money you care about, it's you, so I'm going to see you here again tomorrow. What? No pity? No advice? Yep. Good night, Carol. Right.
traveling show Oh, I know it's not much But it's the best I can do My gift is my song And this one's for you And you can tell everybody This is your song Maybe what simple why now that it's done I hope you don't mind, I hope you don't mind that I put down in words How wonderful life is while you're in the world I sat on the roof and kicked off the mud Swallow a few of the verses well they got me quite cross but the sun's been quite kind cause you wrote this song it's for people like us that keep it turned on so excuse me for getting these things I do Song. It may be quite simple, but now that it's done, I hope you don't mind. I hope you don't mind that I put down in words how wonderful life is while you're in. Anyways, I get to be the godfather, so that's why. Too bad you guys have to fight to be the godmother. Uh, what Hello? do you think we're doing? <laughs>
How can you not notice this earlier, doctor? We did an ultrasound already. That is why I called you both have a better look at the placenta placement. I initially thought it was still high enough for her to have a natural birth. But it's uncommon. But now I know for sure it is lower than it appears. But not to worry. This happens only if a grading occurs. Don't take a chance like you did last time. I didn't even want to ask on a bed. Don't worry. If you don't want a BP going high, take a very good rest. Okay? I'll, I'll make sure to take care of the Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are you okay? Oh. Obviously not, Tyrell. I can't do this again. Again? What do you mean again? I mean, I don't have the mental capacity to lose another child. Another child? So you've had a child before? Why didn't you tell me? There was a reason why I wasn't okay the first time we met. So, let me tell you why. During my senior year in college, I had moved in with my boyfriend, Jason, and for that, my family disowned him. But I was happy with him. He always kept me smiling. He was so perfect. But things started getting rough as neither of us had finished college. Jason decided to join the army, and I moved in with Paige. Soon enough, I found out that I was pregnant. I was ecstatic. It had always been a dream of mine to become a mother. But before I could even tell Jason, I got a call saying that he had been martyred in the war. I was devastated. Paige did everything. Soon, I started working and studying simultaneously to provide a better life for my baby. She became my only goal in life. As the days went by, I started to recover again. I started becoming happy again. But a month before I met you, on the day of the delivery, I lost my baby too. I was Devastated. Paige did everything she could to make me feel better, but I couldn't. Sorry, looks I got since. I hated it. I hated myself. Happy life with my baby was all that I wanted. The change that I dreamed of. But then, I met, I met you. You were always so kind and so sweet. These three years that I spent with you were absolutely amazing. I started becoming happy again. And I started hoping again. But for what? Now this baby is going to have the same fate. And all I can think about is how I'm unfit to be a mother, unfit to bring my childhood dream into reality, and how there's nothing I can do about it. Don't say that, Ella. Look, I know I wasn't there for you to take care of you after protect you, but I am, I'm here now. You can't promise that. Look, I know, I know, Anna. I know it's risky, but that doesn't mean we can't pull through. This is a risky condition. You have to promise me to at least save the baby, okay? Look, I know, I know it's risky, but we can pull through. Never give up, right? That's what you taught me. And look where I am because of you. If you hadn't walked into the park that day, I wouldn't be where I am. On, on our wedding day, I promised you. Morning has come with the first rays of sun Breaking through our window pane Songs fill the air but there's no single there Just an old wooden guitar playing Writing a song 
won't take very long Try not to use the word old Thinking about taking chances and doubts that still linger in the gold Looking forward, all that I can see is good things happening to you and to me. I'm not waiting for times to change. I'm gonna live like a free roaming soul on the highway of our love. Just a small town girl Living in a lonely world She took the midnight train going anywhere Just a city boy Born and raised in South Detroit He took the midnight train going anywhere Singer in a smoky room The smell of wine and cheap perfume For a smile they can share the night It goes on and on and on and on Strangers waiting Up and down the boulevard Their shadows searching in the night Emotion hiding somewhere in the night. Working hard to get my fill, and everybody wants a thrill. Paying anything to roll the dice. Just, Just one more time. Some will win, some will lose. Some are born to sing the blues And now the movie never ends It goes on and on and on and on Strangers waiting Up and down the boulevard Their shadows searching in the night Street lights Living just to find emotion Hiding somewhere in the night Don't stop believing Hold on to that feeling